Hello, my sweet friends, and welcome back. My name is Nicole Cole. Today, I thought I would give you all some inspiration for your bedrooms. This is some Christmas inspiration for this year. Uh, I'm going to share our two guest bedrooms, and in the end, I'm gonna show you our bedroom. Now, this is old footage of our bedroom. I did not share decorating in there with you guys because we had um, some remodeling going on in there. So once Christmas is over, I am going to take y'all in our room and we're gonna go through that. We still have some things that we need to do in there, but maybe today we'll give you some inspiration for your home. Right now, now you can wave. We are headed to um, dance recital for our two granddaughters. So this month is a busy month. I don't know if everyone's like that, but we just have a really busy month. Next week we have Christmas with our family, or his side of the family, and then the next week we have Christmas with my side of the family, so it's just crazy. So I hope y'all are enjoying your holiday season, and I know everyone is busy, but hopefully we'll get back with y'all on Wednesday for some more decorating are the sheets that I bought from Target last year. They're the Threshold. I love them. They are flannel. I tried to find some that were not flannel for our bedding, but honestly, this house is a little colder than our older home, and they're not like super hot. So, um, I'm going to use these again this year, but I'm going to make the bed slightly. So, this different. is the Levitex bedding, and I used it on the red, white, and blue room last year with the stripes going diagonal this way across so I put it in here I have folded the back this is normally the side that I use but I thought since I had the window pane um, sheets that I would just use a very limited amount of the buffalo plaid and then I took my pillow shams that I use on a normal basis that has my initials on the back monogramming I'm just putting them backwards and putting my pillows in front of them, you'll never know. Merry Christmas, baby. Rain is coming out to play. Santa Claus is packing the presents, making sure you have been behaving okay. Every Christmas, honey, yeah. the snowman's dusting off his hat, putting on the show for everybody to give him a smile that lasts another year. I found these uh, Christmas red trucks pillowcases out in my storage and I had this beautiful he sees you when you're sleeping pillowcase I've had that for several years I got it at a local thrift store or antique store so um it was it was handmade so I don't know where you could get something like that but I'm sure you can make something let me show you how easy the bow is this was a super smart idea so all it all is, it is is a piece of material right so you've got your material and you tuck it over like this and you do that on both sides and then you just tie it in the center and it makes a bow that's just one loop and i just pulled this over right and then i'm just going to take this over and through and make my front knot and voila how stinking cute is that y'all and i love that this is long and I can just drape it in front. So I had these, and then I had this bed runner that I had her make out of a sheet. So I thought, well, I'll add more buffalo plaid on the end, and I think this room is super sweet. Love, you know, adding the trucks up so top. I'm gonna let you see that this is the Christmas tree I've already shared with you guys. This was my grandmother's tree. I love it. It's one of those aluminum. I'd love to get me some more antique um, ornaments to go on it, but loving the plaid on the end is Pottery Barn. So that I had gotten from Pottery, Pottery Barn several years ago. The red truck is, she, is a sheet set that I had a girlfriend make me the um, bed runner with, and she just did a really pretty cording on. So I have that. This room is 
one of the prettiest to me. I love the red and white. I love mixing all of it. And then the red, the red truck is my absolute favorite. So this room turned out sweet, sweet. So this is our red, white, and blue room. And I did this tree with you guys. It turned out so sweet. And I love walking by here every night and looking at it. But I wanted to show you, share the bed with you guys. Please understand that we are doing um, some remodeling to our bedroom. We're adding a wall in there. So I do have things in here kind of scattered, but I'm just giving y'all real life. So in this bedroom, my husband wanted to do the Nutcrackers. And I found this on um, Kohl's.com. And it's one side with the plaid and the other with the Nutcracker, which I thought was really sweet. It's not as nice as I would like it to be. I did use the original bedding that I had on here with the striped up top. And you can see that it came with the buffalo, or excuse me, the plaid um, pillowcases or shams with the nutcrackers on the back. I did move the buffalo plaid in here just to add another layer. Wasn't happy with the green sheets with the green bedding, if that makes sense. It almost kind of, I don't know, it just doesn't look right. But I added on either table a nutcracker with a little bit of greenery. And these I made out of old fence boards. I took an ornament that I bought at Hobby Lobby. And you can see it still has, or I think this was a garland. And I just um, glued it on to the piece of wood, wrapped jute around the top. And then my husband just cut a two by four to um, make it stand. And that is some sweet little decor great little gift but i just added that in here i didn't do a lot in here um you know i mentioned in the beginning i'm just this uh christmas has been a little different with me having to have this procedure so um but i wanted to share with you all the bedding in this room Merry Christmas, baby. The snow is laying two feet deep. Now wish upon a falling star so all your secret dreams can come true. something